You see it. You see it. You know what time it is. 12 minutes ago. You know, already know what time it is. Wait, wait. That's that's not right. Somebody got to get it together. But uh, anyway, you, you already know what time it is. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Us the Core, where never knows best. Bring you another Tekken 8 gameplay trailer reaction today for Lars Alexanderson, who's not one of my favorite Tekken characters, to say the least. But Tekken 8 is just so sick and looks so cool that I'm excited for this trailer nonetheless. That being said, um, I've been I mentioned this before, but uh, obviously I'm here for more so for the reaction side than the breakdown side. I'm going to do both. But if you want real breakdown from players who are much more knowledgeable than myself, I've been linking them in the description down below, but I figured I'd mention it here at the start anyway. But we've got uh, uh, Lil Majin, Fidex, and Kwis uh, are the three players who I've been linking because they've also been doing uh, reactions and breakdowns for these trailers every single time that they drop. So be sure to check them out as well after you watch my video, of course. I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust everything. But uh, yeah, man, Lawrence, I just feel like he's super lame normally, but we'll see. Tekken 8 has been given uh, every character, it seems like, a ton of new moves and like in a different tool set. So let's see if... Uh, Lars Alexander All right, show me something, Lars. <laughs> All right, what you got? What you got? What you got? He just looks so goofy to me, man. He just always has. Oh, okay. And you know, you'd think I would like this character because I like stance characters in games, but. I, so, I don't know, man. I wonder if Jack is going to be the next one, by the way. Is it weird to say I'm more excited for Jack than Lars? Hey, hey. Duh, duh. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I like the I like the effects for sure. I like all the lightning and all the particles and everything, if nothing else. Hey, Rage Art. Yo, nah, son. You know what that looks like? You know what that looks like? Um. So, so fun fact, right? This is mad random, but Lars was first introduced into Tekken. Uh, in um, in uh, in Tekken Six, right? And around the time Tekken Six came out, is around the time a certain Naruto game came out. I believe it was Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Two, uh, which was my first Storm game. It was one of my favorite games. In that game, in that game, hold on, let me uh, let me show you something. For whatever reason, for whatever reason, I mean they're both Bandai Namco, so I guess that's why. But Lars Alexanderson was a special guest featured playable character in Storm 2. Honestly, I think that was one of Lars's cooler outfits. The hair looks goofy. I think Lars' hair looks goofy no matter what. But yeah, Lars Alexanderson is playable in, in a Naruto game. And you know what? It kind of makes sense as to why I, I, I probably had this predisposition against I should just let this rock. I kind of had this predisposition against him because like, he had guns and stuff. And like, I don't know if he had guns and stuff in Tekken 6. Tekken 6 is actually one of the few Tekken games I didn't play. I, I played Tekken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Tag. I didn't play 6, I didn't play Tag 2. Uh, and then I played seven, and obviously I'm very much looking forward to Tekken eight. But yeah, he had guns and stuff, and I'm like, what is this doing in my Naruto game, right? So I already didn't like him in Naruto. Then when I actually came back to playing Tekken games, and he was there, I was like, yeah, this character's kind of whack. Um, and even in Storm two, I didn't like him very much. But anyway, I bring this up because, and surely they show it here. I mean, I'll leave this video linked in the description down below if you actually want to check it out and see like the gameplay going back and forth and stuff. But his rage art in Tekken eight looks like his ultimate jutsu in this game. And I'm fast forwarding, seeing if I can find it. Is that it? I think that's it. I think that was it right there. Maybe that's just the, hold on. Surely, surely they show it. Yeah, here it is, it's Ultimate Jutsu. Does not, does that not look really similar to his, to his rage art? Like run this back, look at this. Does this not look very similar? I wonder if that's intentional. Granted, obviously Lars in Naruto is supposed to look like Lars from Tekken. So it's not like they're, you know what I'm saying? But, I don't, I don't think Lars had a move like that, but beforehand, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, that's actually that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I, I like the Rage Art just because it, it kind of it also looks like uh, one of Kakashi's ultimates or the the, uh, the lightning blade twin lightning shiver or whatever. But uh, yeah, I always thought Lars being in Naruto was really weird. I didn't really like him that much in the game. He also felt a little bit clunkier than some of the other characters in that game and a bit slower, like heavier. And I don't, I, don't, you know, I, I didn't really enjoy the gameplay that much, but you know, it's 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 kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I personally am. And somebody who's kind of like over the whole guest character thing, 
mostly because of Tekken 7. I feel like Tekken 7 burned me out a bit worse than any other game, especially because the guest characters we had in this game were super powerful and egregious and were better than actual Tekken characters. I'm looking at you, Akuma. I'm looking at you, Geese Howard. Put a really bad taste in my mouth, but yeah. And also we can see Lil Majin's got his up here. There may have been, <laughs> there may there may have been a, uh, uh, a, 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 a longer break than you would be led to believe. <laughs> in between one of these cuts, but uh, <laughs> yeah. One thing I'll definitely say about Lars is that he's as anime as ever. He's always been like the, I mean, like Tekken feels like it's getting more and more anime, and especially with this game, but this character having already been, like, look at this. Like this character already been the anime character of the game. He's, they just stepped it up, like even more lightning, electricity effects, the, the flips, the, the mix ups, all the new strings, like, and he was already, like I said, he was already a stance character and stuff, but uh, yeah, no, this this is insane. <laughs> also, this stage, um, I remember before when they first showed us that stage that they said that it wasn't like finished, and that they were still working on like lightning and stuff, uh, not lightning, lighting and whatnot. I wonder if this is actually like the finished version. Obviously, the game is still pretty far uh, from being released at this point. I think even though they haven't like really said it, I don't think there's been any official statement. On it, we can all pretty much comfortably and confidently say at this point that Tekken 8 won't actually be releasing until sometime in 2024. I know after the first couple of announcements and trailers, uh, there was hope that it would be releasing sometime this year. But I pretty much, I feel like once they announced that there was going to be another Tekken World Tour for Tekken 7, that pretty much, that sealed the deal. It's like, oh yeah, Tekken 8's not coming until bare minimum like February or March of 2024 after the, the TWT for Tekken 7. Because why would they release Tekken 8 while the World Tour for Tekken 7 is still going on? That just makes no sense. And that's absolutely art, Lars's ultimate jutsu from Storm 2. But um, yeah, my home, I'm gonna back one more time, maybe. All right, as somebody who's not a Tekken pro, and as somebody who, out of all the characters we've seen so far, I know the least about Lars outside of like the little lore with Storm, which I, it's even like a secret or anything, like everybody knows about that, right? But um, I don't really have a whole lot extra to say in terms of like a breakdown or analysis of this trailer, except for one thing that I do find kind of interesting, because I don't think we've seen something like this in any of the other trailers. So as we all know, with the introduction of the heat gate, uh, the heat engagers and, and, and the, extenders and all, you know we, we, we got new combos and mix-ups and stuff right because of the heat mechanic and uh we have like a new type of bound or tailspin or whatever and what's interesting is if you look at this part right here this this combo this clip this combo starts off with the regular tailspin that we already have in tekken 7. however not only is that the first time we're seeing that when i was looking through this again just a moment ago off screen i was like so wait, is it, do we still have, like, can you do them all in the same combo? Like, surely not, right? Cause I, I didn't know like what the properties would be on whether or not like tailspin just happened from certain moves or if it was like only on counter hits or like if it's still in the game, but you can't like combine them, whatever, whatever. However, you see, he does a move that goes into a tailspin, one hit to connect, heat engager, which gives you like a little heat bound, right? Follows it up and then still gets the, the heat flip spin thing that we've also been calling like basically the new tailspin. So, Combos in this game, if you've got some bar, yeah, whoops, up, accidentally went, went over to the Lomaz video, but regardless, combos in this game, if you've got the bar, seem like they're probably going to be really ridiculous and very damaging. Obviously, we don't know like how much health characters have in the game and what the average combo damage is and et cetera, et cetera, and then how much that's amplified by you having access to heat um, and everything, but it seems like it seems like it's going to be pretty devastating. And then obviously you still have stuff like wall splats and wall breaks and floor breaks and everything like that, which could extend the combos even for uh, even for even further. And then obviously you're going to have. Um, why am I drawing a blank? 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 I drew a really hard blank on what I was trying to say there for a second, but I was also saying that if you can do all three of these things in a single combo, the corner character is going to be crazy. And you already have characters that have crazy corner carry, which then also makes me wonder if like, cause you, you have characters like, let's say Brian or Julia or Huang. And I mean, a lot of characters do, but those are like the first ones that come to my mind, right? That have really, really good corner carry. Is that why some stages seem really big? Are, 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 our stages in general going to be bigger in this game because you know like the coliseum the arena stage that stage seems like it's really big especially compared to most st stages in tekken 7 and even looking at this stage it doesn't seem like massive but it does seem bigger uh, when i think about it than some of the stages obviously uh in tekken 7 i don't wonder if that's because they know that with it with you being able to combine tailspin with the heat engager with the heat bound with the flips and all that uh characters are gonna have even crazier corner carry and then you already have like that run mechanic as well you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah characters a corner uh corner carry or wall carry i keep saying corner carry because i'm used to playing 2d games but wall carry let's say wall carry my fault tekken players um it's gonna be nuts it's it's, it's gonna be nuts so 
uh yeah i mean for look, looking at this that that's probably the most interesting thing that stands out to me um in this entire in this entire trailer uh, if, if i'm honest as somebody who's not a big lars fan although i will say graphically it looks really really good obviously you know it's not as as crisp as you're seeing through this video as, as it is in real time um or as it'll actually be in game but yeah no graphically Tekken 8 looks incredible and i just like I, i'll i'll i don't know if i'll ever let it go that people were really trying to tell me that this game doesn't this just looks like a slightly better tekken 7 that looks like tekken 7 2.0 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. which to me was always an idiotic ar argument because what is a sequel to a game supposed to look like other than an enhanced version of the previous game but i digress lighting graphics effects everything looks the animation choreography everything looks incredible in this game and i can't wait that's Lars Alexanderson. Like I said, if you want an even more thorough breakdown analysis of the characters, I have links in the description down below. Some Tekken players that you should check out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content when I'm bringing you. With all being such punch off today, and remember, nothing can happen to you swing the bat. Later.